Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, today I want to do as promised in my previous video, Fall Back in Love with Medical Coding. I want to give you 10 habits to consider helping you stay current and motivated and to fall back in love with medical coding. As I ended that video, fall back in love with medical coding, my previous video, I asked you five questions. Do you still love all things medical coding? Do you today have the same desire and drive to learn and stay current with your medical coding skills as you did when you first got into the profession? Why or why not? I also ask you, where are you in your job? Do you go to work each day to do a job for someone else or are you going to work for you? How can you improve at what you are doing? And number five, are you excited to go to work? Think about those questions. So let's start a habit that may work for you. Let me share some habits for you to consider. Make it a habit to, number one, each day write down one word that you came across that day that you would like to learn more about because it could improve your coding skills. I can remember coding ER charts and one of my patients received cardioversion. I had never coded cardioversion and really did not know much about it. I wrote that procedure down and decided to research what it was so that I could accurately code it. Just so happens at our next monthly departmental meeting, a coder stated that she was confused about how to accurately code cardioversion, and I was able to help. So, habit number one, each day, write down one word that you ran across that day that you'd like to learn more about because it could improve your coding skills. Habit number two, working remotely. Make this work for you. I've had to make working remotely work for me. Family, friends, people in general seem to think working from home is heaven. Don't get me wrong. It definitely has its advantages, but I've had to make the advantages work for me. Sometimes I find myself working longer and harder remotely than I did when I was physically in the hospital working. So I've had to set up a habit or a schedule to keep me on task. I know what I need to do at home and I know what I need to do for work. I had to learn to set up my days so that I met responsibilities for each place. You guys know when a personal phone call that you promise yourself you're gonna stay on for five minutes turns out to be a 45 minute phone call or my doorbell. If it's not the mailman, it's family and friends that are coming over and I'm supposed to be working or my children calling because mommy's at home. Mommy, I forgot my uniform, my cleats. Mommy, can you, mommy, mommy's working. So habit number two, working remotely, make this work for you. Habit number three, splurge on yourself. We splurge sometimes. It can be a designer handbag, a new car, a new kitchen appliance. What about a splurge of attending a conference? Most jobs will allow you to take off and attend the conference since it's going to help your skills. They may even pay for you to attend a conference. Guys, three days in a hotel with meals and some leisure time sounds great to me. Sure, 
You will have meeting times, but they don't last all day. So splurge. Remember, learning does not stop after you become certified. Learning does not stop after you obtain your coding job. You must keep learning because every year things change. So habit number three, splurge on yourself. Habit number four, don't miss a local chapter meeting. You will definitely learn the importance of these local chapter, AAPC chapter meetings when you lose yours. I've lived in a small rural community that lost their local AAPC chapter due to low attendance. I missed the opportunity to socialize with my peers in my community. So I've made the choice to drive 35 miles one way each month to support the next closest chapter. Think about the networking opportunities at a chapter meeting. So habit number four is don't miss a local chapter meeting. Habit number five, make it a habit of visiting the AAPC.com website throughout the month. Right now it is May, or they call it membership mania at AAPC, where you connect with your local AAPC chapters. They sent out an email this month talking about the importance of this local chapter meeting. So this association, the AAPC, remember it was created by and for medical coders. And by viewing the AAPC.com website, I can stay current with what's going on in the world of medical coding. You will be amazed at all of the resources the AAPC.com website offers. So habit number five, make it a habit of visiting the AAPC.com website throughout the month. Habit number six, audit your own work. As a medical coder, our work is often audited, whether in-house by auditors or outside by third-party payers. I don't want to get so comfortable on a job that the quality of my work may fall. So I generally set up my own audits. I know what my auditors look for, so I set up my own tool and do random samplings two to three times a year. So habit number six is to audit your own work. Habit number seven, try something new. Get out of your comfort zone. I challenge you to earn a new credential or certification. I never felt stronger in my coding skills than when I was preparing for certification. I put myself on strict study schedules, I researched the unknown, and I pushed myself like never before. So why not go for an additional certification? So habit number seven, try something new. Habit number eight, apply for an officer position with your local AAPC chapter. The position will cause you to get to know people, to network, and to get active. Not only will you work with your local community, but you'll also have the opportunity to work with other officers from other areas and share ideas. So habit number eight is apply for an officer position with your local AAPC chapter. Habit number nine, present for your chapter meeting. Since you're researching how to better perform your job, why not share it with your colleagues? I tend to learn more from someone within my profession. They understand my day-to-day -day frustrations and can discuss ways to overcome them. So habit number nine is to present for your chapter meeting. Habit number 10, write an article based on your research. The monthly AAPC magazine, Healthcare Business Monthly, is always looking for new articles to publish. Why not yours? So habit number 10 is write an article
based on your research. Where are you today with your medical coding career? Are you excited or are you in a rut? Are you where you want to be? If not, why not? Always, always, always find ways to keep learning. Challenge yourself. What is your next certification? Are you going for the CIC or the CPB? There are tons more certifications on the AAPC.com website. Remember, the more valuable you are, the more opportunities that will come your way. So in conclusion, take it from me. If you become stagnant, you will get left behind. Don't become complacent. Evolve and stay current. Fall back in love, guys, with medical coding. Guys, don't forget, I will be starting a small class on June 14th. Again, I know it's summertime is coming. The kids are going to be out of school. There will be vacations going on. It's going to be a difficult time for a lot of people to start a coding class. So that's why I want to have just a small class start. So if you're interested in learning medical coding, Email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com and let's look at getting you started with my June 14th, 2022 cohort of students that will be starting medical coding. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.